I am here to tool you through this presentation on different operations on various machines on wagon wheel in Jamalpur workshop. I will give a brief intro of wheel parts and major operations conducted on wheel. First of all, let me tell you in short about the wheel shop where majorly all wheel related operations are done. Wheel shop is a very active shop dedicated for all types of wagon and loco wheels for maintenance and overhauling. It derives its activeness from the fact that it is sandwiched between WRS 1 and 2 and gets regular supply of wheels from both the Delhi and Hava ends. It is critical also as every wagon which comes for POH is incomplete without wheels. Presently, its staff strength is 195 which includes 13 supervisors comprising of 9 SSCs and 4 JEs. Now let me tell you about parts overhauled in wheel shop after its disassembly. It includes mainly two parts which are axle and wheel. Now let's take a look at both one by one. First of all is axle. As very clear from its definition, it is a long steel bar to hold pair of wheels. In other words, we can say that it acts as a connector for wheels. Also, it is su designed suitably at its end to roll in bearings. Its major portions are wheel seat and journal as shown in the following figure. Now, the second important part as suggested by the name of the shop itself is a wheel. The main parts of wheel are circumferential protruding part called flange, slightly sloped thread and inner larger depression hub. The working diameter range of a wagon wheel is 906 to 1000 mm. However, in Jamalpur workshop only up to 909 mm is allowed. There are four major operations exclusively related to wheel axle POH. These are mainly turning, boring, burnishing and wheel pressing. Turning. Now what is turning? In simple words, turning is a machining process in which a stationary tool describes a path against a rotating workpiece while operation is being done. It can be done on a traditional lathe or automated CNC control lathe. Let's take a look at a major machine used for the turning operations. Firstly, a wheel turning machine. It turns the profile of an irregularly surfaced wheel, which may be caused due to some corrosion or wear in service. It is of utmost importance to maintain the profile of the wheel for convenient and safe operation in use. So reprofiling is done usually on a CNC lathe. Here is shown a screen of CNC surface lit where all required dimensions are fed into the computer and it reprofiles the wheel surface as per requirement. Number of wheel turning machines are 6 in Jamalpur workshop out of which 4 are there in wheel shop specifically, 2 are CNC operated, 1 manually operated which are in use and 1 is condemned now. Machine shop has 2 CNC operated turning machines. Now this is the process used to turn the wheel. It is well known that visual things have greater impact. So let me make you understand this process through a video. Here wheel is brought in line with lathe machine and raised to the height of center wheel. Both lathe heads are brought closer as axle engages with the sleeve and the clutches are engaged with the circumference of the wheel. As you can see here, these are the clutches which engages with the circumference of the wheel. Now 
Next on the list is AJTB that is Axle Journal Turning and Burnishing Machine. Here we will learn only about journal turning. Burnishing is other process about which we will talk later. They are also simply belt driven turning machines to turn the journal part of the axle. Presently, there are three AJTB machines, two in machine shop and one in wheel shop. Let's see a video of journal turning to make you all more clear regarding the process. As very evident from here, it is somewhat like other turning process only, where the workpiece rotates and the tool is held stationary. Now we move on to the last turning machine in the list, that is the axle turning machine. It is not used for purge of axles, but to turn the new axle to required diameter and finish as a replacement for damaged axles. Turning of old axle is usually avoided because there are tolerances with minute deviation. Usually axles are condemned if found damaged. There are two axle turning machine in the wheel shop and one in machine shop. Presently all are in use. Here we come on to the second process done on the wheels that is boring. Boring is simply enlarging a hole already drilled by means of one or many single point cutting tools. As mentioned here in the third point. It can be considered as internal diameter counterpart to turning. The machines used here is the boring machine which varies only on the mode of its operation. Either it is manually operated vertical or popularly called VTL boring machine as shown in figure. There are three VTL in use in each machine shop and the wheel shop. There are two CNC boring machines, one in machine and wheel shop each. Both are presently in use. This video shows the boring process being done on a wheel inner board with a tool head holding several single point cutting tools. It is done to achieve greater accuracy of diameter of a hole. As you can see here, this is the tool holding multiple single point cutting tools. Jump onto the Next subheading of our main heading, the third process is wheel pressing. This machine is of vital use as it is used for mounting and dismounting of wagon wheel from axles. It would be better to mention here only that the pressing force of around 85 to 126 ton is required in case of a wagon wheel and before mounting a solution of basic white lead carbonate and boiled linseed oil is applied on the wheel bore to prevent scoring of surfaces due to pressure exerted by the wheel press. Here are some wheel press pictures from the wheel and machine shop respectively. In the top left corner, the wheel press is from the wheel shop and in the bottom right corner, the wheel press from the machine shop. There are two 500 ton wheel press in wheel shop and one 510 wheel press in machine shop in working condition. Let's see this process 
देखो दो वीडियो Wheel press can be manually or automatically operated. As it can be seen here, it is a manually operated wheel press. I am pretty sure you would have get a better knowledge of the wheel pressing by this video. Last major portion under this section is burnishing. This process is exclusively for journals. As mentioned earlier, also due to its minimal dimensional tolerance range, journals are very sensitive. parts of a wheel axle set so it requires a great accuracy it is basically a polishing process it is also carried out on an agtv machine let me make you more clear by a visual mode reverse ha reverse video it can be clearly seen that two free to move burnishing rotors rotating in opposite direction are brought in contact with the rotating journal the area of operation is continuously lubricated with the kerosene as we have dealt with all major qh machining operations in a wheel shop let me show you some sidelined operations which are as necessary as above all for the complete qh there are basically two such machinery or tools of them is ct rv remover the first process to be done on a wheel axle set entering the shop is the removal of ct rv from axle journal this removes the ct rv sent to ct rv shop just beside the wheel shop after this mainly wheel distance and wheel diameters are checked using respective gauges then axle is tested for internal cracks using ultrasonic tester which is next tool on our list but before that just take a look in short at ctrb removal process इंटरनलिबल टू मेक इट आई 
to probe into that damages this method is used it is done by a portable or ultrasonic machine with a cylindrical probe set which sets up internal waves and an oscilloscope for display purposes depending on orientation and location of probe used for inspection it is mainly of four types which are far end near and low angle with probe angle less than 20 degree high angle with probe angle higher than 35 degree and finally trace delay for fact purposes frequency of waves used is 2.5 megahertz and diameter of probe used is 20 to 25 meter around the end of this discussion thank you all people for watching